Free your spirit. Free your mind. Let your soul hear it. Your light will shine. Pastor A.D. Nichols, the ambassador of wisdom, is coming to you in just about 40 seconds. We're hoping that you will open up the mail that's about to be delivered. One of the hardest working women in gospel. That's Pastor A.V. Nichols, an outreach pastor, reaching out through Facebook, reaching out through every means necessary to turn you on to Jesus. So let's get ready. Take some minutes out of your day so the words of wisdom will make a better way. And now, Pastor Ava E. Nichols. Hello, thank you so much for tuning in. We're finishing up Psalms 109, the third part. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ava Nichols, and we've been reading a psalm a day. Amen. And then we're elaborating on the scriptures as much time as we have allowed. Uh, David, he did. I do recommend you to read the entire book of Psalms as well. Psalms has been a blessing to my life. Amen. And I also recommend you to read about David. It's in Psalm, It's in First Samuel. And also it tells you about Saul as well. But David... Um, he was uh, the youngest son of Jesse Bethlehem, and also he was um, the direct ancestor of Jesus Christ. Um, David was chosen of God, amen, and he was a warrior. He was a shepherd. He, sh he, he did defend the sheep. Uh, he did t develop his fighting skills and also taught himself how to play the flute and the harp. Uh, he was a, a warrior under Saul. Um, he had many successes, uh, including the uh, Goli uh, defeating the Goliath. And it caused the king's jealousy, Saul, jealousy, and he was forced to become an outlaw. And that's what happened with David. And that's why David had to continue to run for his life every day because of Saul's jealousy. And, and David did not understand why this is happening. He was very upset about it. And he just, all he knew to do was talk to the Lord. That's all he had to depend on is trust God and talk to him at all times. And that's something that we should do and develop. We need to... Uh, not be codependent, but we need to trust God in everything that we do. Amen. First, we're going to start with verse 21, and it reads, But do you for me, O God, the Lord, for your name's sakes, because your mercy is good, deliver you me. And then this, this chapter of Psalms 109, he was talking about how he was feeling about um, his accusers, his adversaries, how they lied on him, and how they, what he wanted God to do to them. And that's how this, this, this chapter is. And then it reads, verse 22, For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like the shadow when it declines. I am tossed up and down as the locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh falls of fatness. I become also a reproach to them when they looked upon me. They shook their heads. Help me, O Lord, my God, O save me according to your mercy, that you may know that this, that this is your hand, that you, Lord, have done it. Let them curse, but bless you when they arise. Let them be ashamed, but your servant rejoice. Let my adversaries be clothed with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own confusion, with the mantle. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth, yea, I will praise him among the multitude. For he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save them from those that condemn his soul. Amen. David was a chosen man of God. Amen. He praised the Lord even during his time of weakness, of his sickness, uh, his stress, his anxiety. Um, he was very upset, but he still praised the Lord. Amen. He did talk to God and he wanted things to happen, but he still, the praises were still there. Amen. So I know if David can praise when he's going through his challenges, running for his life, all the pressures upon him, run, not knowing if he's going to live the next minute, we can do the same thing. Amen? And even more so. Verse 21, But do you for me, O God the Lord, for your name's sake, because your mercy is good, deliver you me. So he said, Lord, deliver me. Be kind to me. So others will know that you're good. Uh, because your love is good. Save me, God. And he, he pleaded with the Lord continuously. He did. Bless his heart. He was going through so much. And he was just saying, Lord, just help me, God, for your name's sake. Because your mercy is good. You're, you're so kind. Deliver me, God. Verse 22, he said, because 
from poor and needy, and my heart is wounded with them. And he was hurt. He was so hurt. He was poor. He was helpless. He was very sad. Amen. Verse 23, he said, I'm gone like the shadow when it declines. I'm tossing it down like the locust. As a locust, he just said, Lord, he said, I'm, he said, I feel like I'm dying. He said, like an enemy shadow. He said, I'm shaking off like a locust. He said, I'm just tossed up and down like the locust. Verse 24, it reads, my knees are weak through fasting and my flesh falls with fatness. He said, Lord, I'm so weak. I'm, my knees are weak. He said, uh, from hunger because he's been fasting so much. He didn't know what else to do but to fast. He said, I've grown thin. He said, I'm weak. He said, so just help me, O oh Lord. And, and you may be in this situation, but God hears you. Amen. He heard David. Verse 25, I become also reproached that when they looked upon me, they shook their heads. He said, even my enemies, when they look at me, they, they insult me. They look at me and, and they shake their heads. He's, you know, they even shook their heads at him because of the way he was looking. Where is your God? What is he going to do for you? Verse 26, it reads, help me, O Lord. My God will save me according to your mercy. And he's still pleading to the Lord, asking the Lord to help him. Uh, because he's, he's, he's because of his love, he said, God, just save me. Where are you? And a lot of times we can feel that way. Like we feel like the Lord isn't there, but he is. Amen. Verse 27, that you may know that this is your hand, that you, okay, excuse me, that they may know that this is your hand, that you, Lord, have done. He said, Lord, the reason I, I want you to, to, I want the people to know that your power has done this and that you will, uh, that they will know that you have done it. So he wanted to be a testimony. He wanted to see, hey, my God did this for me. So Lord, save me so that my, my enemies can see this. Amen. Verse 28, let them curse, but bless you when they arise. Let them be ashamed, but let your servant rejoice. So he just said, Lord, they may curse me. But uh, you bless me. Amen. He said, they may attack me, but they will be disgraced. Amen. And he said, then I, your servant, will be glad. So he just said, God, this, they, they, he said, they may curse you. He said, but you're going to bless me. I know this. Amen. So that's how we have to stand and believe and talk to them. Hey, I know you're going to bless me, Lord. Amen. Because I'm your God all by yourself and that I'm your servant. Amen. Verse 29, let my adversaries be clothed with shame and let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle. So he said, Lord, just let them, uh, let their, humili uh, let them, their humili humiliation um, uh, clothe them, because, you know, with the disgrace, disgrace, amen. He said, just let them be disgraced. Let them uh, cover themselves with their own confusion as with, as with the robe, amen. So he just saying, let them be clothed with shame for what they what for what they've done to him. Verse thirty, he said, but I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Yea, I will praise Him among the multitude. So he said, God, I'm gonna praise you. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna continue uh, repeat what the Lord to the Lord uh, give respect to the Lord. Amen. And and also I'm gonna praise Him to everyone. And that's. That's what we should do as well. We should praise the Lord. We should, uh, we should also uh, respect Him at all times and give Him reverence, God, um, to the Lord. We should give reverence to Him all the time. Also praising Him and to, to everyone, letting them know who you are, you, that you're going to praise God and not be ashamed of the gospel. Amen? Through your trials, through your tribulations, th think about David, what he was going through. If he can go through it, amen, surely you can. Because you're going to come out. Because you serve a big God. Verse 31. For he shall stand at the right hand to the, of the poor. And save him from those who condemn his soul. And, and so he's praising. Because he knows that God is going to uh, stand beside the needy. Amen. And ready to save them from those who condemn. Uh, who judge them. His soul. Amen. So condemning his soul. So he said I'm going to. Because I know, I'm, he said, I'm going to greatly praise the Lord with my mouth, and I will praise him among the multitude. He said he's going to give respect, repeat, re, re, uh, he's going to give uh, respect to the Lord. Amen?
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God is so good. So we can, that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, hold not our, we're going to uh, praise God, amen, during our times of, of troubles, amen, and uh, know that our enemies are defeated. The enemy is underneath your feet because, and you do have the victory. That's why it's so important to, to renew your mind daily and to fast and pray and have quality time with the Lord, to find out what the Bible says, to know who you are in Christ, amen. When you're going through your challenges, going through your uh, trials and tribulations, thank you so much for tuning in. Amen. If you haven't uh, repented, you need to do that and let the Lord know you're sorry. Go to Romans 10, 9. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. God. We'd like to thank you for paying attention because in a minute we won't be able to afford free speech. Ambassador Ava E. Nichols, Pastor A.V. Nichols of Body of Christ Outreach Ministry. We'd like to thank you for sharing this time with us. If you got any questions or if you need prayer, 702-505-9697 or email Ava Nichols, the number one at yahoo.com. You can find us on YouTube, Unknown Soldier 8, that's U-N-K-N-O-W-N-S-O-U-L. Soul.biz. 